Now, this drill I'm going to show you here is the most effective and fastest way for most of you golfers out there to drop your score dramatically. Because this is really going to give you that good ball and turf contact that you need to be able to hit your irons well. And it's also going to give you that good upward angle of attack to be able to launch that driver and hit that driver far and straight. So what this is, it's the same drill funnily enough and it is the ball forward drill. So it's a drill I talk about quite often on my channel and I talk about it a lot because it's so, so good. You can practice this on the range and you can also take it out on the golf course, absolutely. So what we do here, we have the ball at the front of our stance and we have the club out the middle. So we have this gap between the club and the ball. So if irons like I've got here, why this is so helpful? Because this really forces you to shift your weight. Now with golfers who are really struggling with their ball striking, when they hit thin shots, fat shots, top shots, we would often see them on their back foot as they're coming through the shot. They won't be shifting their weight enough left, so their lowest point of their swing arc will get behind the golf ball or level with it. So that's gonna make you hit the ball thin, fat, or topped. So for us here, having that ball at the front and club at the middle with this gap, you just trying to make contact with this golf ball is gonna get you shifting onto your left side. It's gonna do it, and it's gonna do it without you even thinking. Your subconscious is gonna do this for you. This is a drill where you don't have to do much in the conscious part of your brain. So if I hit one here, see how much my body had to shift to be able to hit that golf ball. Quite often when you do this, your body will shift on its own so much that you're gonna to struggle to keep your balance and you're gonna be walking towards the target almost like Gary Player. So doing a ton of this is gonna get you exaggerating that shift over and that's what's gonna get you having that ball and turf contact. So practicing this, will get this into your golf swing, of course, by your subconscious, just the repetition of it, but you can take it out on the golf course. Pretty much every student I've ever had to have done this drill with, they've all said the same thing. I should go out and play golf with this. You can, absolutely, you can. Mo Norman, this is the way he used to set up to the golf ball. He was a pretty good golfer, wasn't he? So, set up to that golf ball, ball at the front, club at the middle, and absolutely you can do it on the golf course too. Now, this can have a really good effect on driver as well. I dare say it probably has a bigger effect on driver than it does with irons, and it's crazy with irons too. So, you might be thinking, with the irons, it gets the low point forward. I don't really want to do that with driver, do I? I don't want to get the low point forward because I'm going to be hitting down it. I said in the beginning of this video tonight that it's going to help you hit up on driver. So, it's the intent of how you go about hitting driver is what makes this different. So, again, ball out just a normal position with driver, which should be really on the inside of the left foot or left big toe. Club out the middle of your stance with driver. So, you've got that gap again. So again, very Mo Norman-like. Now, because we're hitting up off a tee, a high tee with driver, our body isn't gonna want to shift all too much. It won't shift all too much. You having this club more out the middle of your stance, what this will encourage now is actually to hit the ball later on the swing arc. So it'll encourage the low point to get more behind because our intent isn't to hit down on driver, it's intent is to hit up. Your subconscious knows that. So you're gonna be having that low point bottom out earlier, and you're going to be hitting that ball later on the swing arc. So it's almost like a little trick you can do to get yourself hitting up without really doing too much. So here we go. Club out the middle, ball out the front. I'm going to naturally hit up because I'm hitting it a later part of the swing arc. Boom. Didn't really have to do anything to try and hit up on that. Now, a lot of you are going to be thinking if you're aware of what happens to the golf swing when you're hitting later on the swing arc, you're hitting a little bit out to win when that happens. Because obviously an arc is arcing around our body. So when we're hitting up on it, we actually hit a little bit out to win on the golf ball. Because it's as the club is diverging back around the swing arc, it's going in and around. So you will hit a little bit out to win. But this is where, when we're trying to work with how the D-plane works, we want to be able to counteract it. We don't want to try and do something with our golf swing to stop that out to win path, because that's the natural movement we do when we're hitting more up on it, we will hit a little bit out to win. So what we do, we do what a lot of the long drive pros do who hit very up on the golf ball. Now this is if you're only hitting very, very up. This is like six degrees or more. You wanna aim a little bit more right. Just aim a little bit more right. So you would technically be intentionally pulling the golf ball, which is every golfer out on tour who hits considerably up on it will always be intentionally pulling the golf ball. They do it all the time. 
This is not a new thing. They will always be intentionally doing that because that's just what happens when you hit the ball later on the swing arc. The club face is more closed because you're hitting it later on the arc and you're hitting more out to in because you're hitting it on the upward around you portion. Of course, if you're only hitting a little bit up on it, you don't need to worry about it because you're only hitting on the first little bit. This is only if you are generally hitting really up on it, do you have to worry about that? I see a lot of golfers thinking that they're gonna swing over the top. Does a normal golf swing look like this? No. You're swinging up on it naturally around the swing arc. So if you are someone who knows your swing, let's say your angle of attack, you know what it's gonna be when you do this, maybe you've got a launch monitor, then yes, if you're like six or so on the up, aim a little bit out towards the right. But if not, don't worry about it. Just have that club out the middle, ball out the front, and you're gonna be amazed at how much further you hit that golf ball when you do that without really trying to do much at all. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button if you want more golf instruction, just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video.